Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to compare integers. We will go through three examples where we will use a number line to help us compare, and then we will move on to three more examples where we will not use a number line. Now, when comparing integers, it can be helpful to visualize the integers on a number line. Just remember, the further right on a number line, the greater the value. Numbers increase in value as we go right on a number line. On the other hand, the further left, the smaller the value. Numbers decrease in value as we go left on a number line. Let's jump into number one, where we have negative one is greater than, less than, or equal to negative two. Well, let's take a look at the number line. Negative one is right here, and negative two is right here. So looking at that number line, which integer is further to the right? That means it's going to be greater in value. Negative one is further right. Negative one is greater than negative two. So let's fill in our comparison here. And remember, we want the comparison symbol opening up towards the greater value. So like this. And we can read this comparison from left to right as negative one is greater than negative two. Now, before we move on to number two, I do wanna mention a couple of things here. When we compare two negatives, the one closer to zero is going to be greater. The one closer to zero is further to the right. So that's just a slightly different way of thinking about it when we have two negatives. And another thing I like to do when comparing integers is relate it to temperature, and that can help us think through these. For example, is negative one degree Fahrenheit or Celsius here, it doesn't matter the unit, is that warmer or colder than negative two degrees? Negative one is warmer by one degree. It's a higher temperature than negative two degrees. So negative one is greater. So there are different ways to think through these. Use what works best for you. Moving on to number two, we have negative five is greater than, less than, or equal to three. Let's take a look at the number line. Three is right here and negative five is right here. So which of those is further to the right? Well, three, three is greater than negative five. So reading this comparison from left to right, negative five is less than three. Now with number two, we have a negative and a positive. Keep in mind, whenever we have a negative and a positive, the positive is always going to be greater than the negative. And relating this to temperature, which is going to be warmer, which is going to be the greater temperature, negative five degrees or three degrees, three degrees. Moving on to number three, we have zero is greater than, less than, or equal to negative four. Let's take a look at the number line. Zero is right here and negative four is right here. Zero is further to the right on the number line, therefore it's greater than negative four. So reading this from left to right, zero is greater than negative four. And to go off of this, whenever we have zero and a negative, zero is always going to be greater than a negative. Let's move on to number four, where we have negative 95 is greater than, less than, or equal to six. Well, we have a negative and a positive here. The positive is automatically greater than the negative. And thinking in terms of a number line, six is going to be further to the right than negative 95. So reading this from left to right, negative 95 is less than six. Taking a look at number five now, we have negative 14 is greater than, less than, or equal to negative 11. So we have two negatives here. Which one is closer to zero? Which one is further to the right on a number line? Or if we're thinking temperature, which is the warmer temperature? However we want to think about it, negative 11 is greater. 
So reading this from left to right, negative 14 is less than negative 11. Lastly, taking a look at number six, we have negative 27 is greater than, less than, or equal to negative 29. So we have two negatives again here. So which one is closer to zero? Which one is further to the right on a number line? That's going to be negative 27. Negative 27 is greater. So reading this from left to right, negative 27 is greater than negative 29. So there you have it. There's how to compare integers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.